In this video, you will learn about offset command. So let's start. The command will be here in the curves of Sketcher environment. So it is going to offset a chain of curves that lie on a sketch plane. Let's start through the demonstration. First, we have to click on offset. Then here comes the options in the dialog box. The very first option is regarding the curves. We have to select the curves. Later on, it will ask you for the distance, like what distance you want to have in the offset. Here is the reverse direction toggle. Then we have the symmetric offset. And here are the number of copies, then the cap option. Let's understand all these options first. Then we will understand about the create persistent relation and convert input curves to reference. Now I'm going to select the curves. So here the curve rule is connected curves. So it will select all the curves in the single click. Now you can see here is the distance so I can increase or decrease it. Also, if I just double click on it, it will reverse the direction. And same I can do from this toggle, the reverse direction thing. And this is how it will work. Now here is the distance we can increase or decrease as per the requirement. Then we have the option of symmetric offset. Symmetric offset means it is going to offer the offset in both the direction. That means in the inward direction and at the same time in the outward direction. Let's click on the symmetric offset. Now you can see the difference without symmetric offset and this is with symmetric offset. Now here we have the number of copies. I can increase or decrease it as if I want two number of copies. So it will offer me two number of copies outside and two number of copies inside. Let's untick this option. Now you can see it will offer you the offset only in the one direction with two number of copies. And the offset distance will be remain same like from here to here 30 and from here to here is also 30. Now here we have the option of cap. Like if you want the art cap or the extension cap. Currently you can notice we have the sharp corner here but we are getting the art cap here. So if you want to have the extension, you can click on extension cap and it will offer you the sharp corners. So this is the demonstration regarding the cap option. If you want the arc option, here is the arc and here is the extension cap. Now at the bottom right, we are getting an alert that no persistent relation will be created. So I'm going to tick on the option of create persistent relation. Now here comes a toggle which says the capability of the current command are different. When you want to create a persistent relation, selected symmetry will be deselected. Do you want to continue? Of course, I want to continue. So it will deselect all the curves. Now I will select them again. Just have a single click. Here is the offset distance, which is 30. Create dimension. It means that it is going to create the dimension. Like here, it will display the dimension of 30. Now here we already have seen the symmetric offset along with the number of copies like if I want the number of copies as 3 so it will offer the number of copies as 3 then we have these options as activated like what is convert input curves to reference it will convert this input curve to the reference let's check it out just click on ok now you can see we are getting the dimensions here like this was talking about this dimension like this is p0 which is 30 then this is p2 which is 2 into p0 which makes it 60 and this is 3 into p0 which makes it 3 into 30 90 okay so this is how it works let's check it out for once just for the confirmation like you can see this is 90 so this is how it works I'm going to undo this. Now let's come to the another curves also. Now let's again go to the offset command and this time I'm going to select this one and I'm going to add a new set for the chain 2. This is chain 2. I want to reverse the direction and the offset distance is going to be 5. Now you can see this is outside and this is inside. 
so this is the flexibility of the chain option in the offset curve command so that is all in the offset curve we have covered all the options in detail i hope you have enjoyed the video on offset command please like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe our channel thank you